What's going on guys, it's Phil DeRue here, back again. I wanna go over what I do here for my program for Ground Control, the new BJJ strength conditioning program that I'll be putting out alongside with overtime athletes. What I'm gonna be talking about today is phase one of a training block that we usually do here when it comes down to getting you prepared for a competition or for just training in general. So the main focus on phase one of the program is going to be accelerated strength and isometrics. Also gonna be going into stability, mobility work, using FRC and DNS principles, that's functional range conditioning and dynamic neuromuscular stabilization. We're also gonna be working on concurrent energy systems. So I'll be working aerobic work and anaerobic lactic work that encompass everything when it comes down to the bioenergetic demands of the sport. So first one we're gonna be working on, 1A is Romanian deadlifts. All right, so I like to utilize Romanian deadlifts just because we're working the posterior chain. All right, it's a compound lift, so it's working the entire body to induce maximal strength adaptations. All right, it's efficient for the sport. Now, when you're sitting in guard, you wanna make sure that you have a good base, nobody's breaking your posture, and if you have a strong posterior chain, this will elicit that problem, right? So, after that, we're gonna go 1B. It's band pull through. So same concept, working on posterior chain, all right? Um, the strength there that you're gonna gain from that is throughout the entire body. So from the upper back to the hamstrings, we're working on hip extension, utilizing those glutes, utilizing hamstrings and back, all right? And it's gonna give you that base posture, like I said, when you're sitting in guard. 2A, we're working on seated landmine press. All right, so we're working on a static overcome by dynamic. I want you to be able to produce force from a static position, all right? If you're moving in guard or if you, you have a position, you wanna be able to explode through and get out of that position if need be, all right? You're also gonna be working on motor unit recruitment. That's gonna help you elicit more strength going through each and every movement pattern, but also get you stronger for your competition and for your training, all right? So right after that, we're gonna go ahead and do weighted scarecrows. That's gonna be a T-spine mobility exercise, but also we're working on scapular strength. So that upper back, we're able to move the upper back, move that, that, those muscles in there more efficiently so that it can help you, obviously, when you're working inside somebody's guard and also to pull that person into your guard if need be. 3A, we're gonna work on T-spine row. So we're gonna take a row variation, we're gonna hit the upper back as hard as we can, contracting all the muscles up there so that um, we do get more upper back strength and we also have that posture um, in the guard itself. Like I said before, it's very important. And then lastly, we're gonna be working on briefcase carries uh, with a lateral band pull with, for tension. So with this, it's anti-flexion and anti-rotation. If I'm sitting in someone's guard, I wanna make sure that I have a good base. I'm not getting swept, all right? I wanna make sure I'm strong in that base position. And then also grip strength, all right? Grip strength, if you're, even if you are a gi or no gi practitioner, you wanna have optimal grip strength for pull throughs, for snap downs, things like that. This is what it does in this program. Check it out. See you next time.